You suck right now. And that's okay. So obviously, this is not going to be a normal video. I am not in the shop. I am not at home. I'm not even in the States. I'm currently in Austria on vacation, and it's been delightful so far. I've got my tiny little pretend coffee. I've got a chocolate croissant this morning. Life is pretty good right now. And as I was walking to the bakery this morning to get said croissant, I was thinking about what video I could make for you guys that I wanted to make for you guys that could still be useful. And I walk into the bakery and I assume as an American that most people speak English because I am an idiot and only speak one language. Now the folks at the bakery did speak English. They understood English but they were clearly uncomfortable speaking English back to me. And they were very accommodating, they were very kind to my lack of linguistic capability, but it put me in the awkward position of being the novice, of being the dunce in the situation. I expected them to accommodate my lack of ability. And frankly, it's been a while since I've been in that position. It was both a little bit anxiety inducing, but refreshing. Right? It was an uncomfortable situation, but the right kind of discomfort where I was bad at a thing and I had to figure out how to be better. And that's what makes you better at any number of things. That's an important place to put yourself in so that you are forced to grow. And I think the same is true of woodworking. There have been many times throughout my career where I've taken on a commission or I've approached an idea or I've gone after a technique that I'm not good at, that I can't physically accomplish. And my only goal is to get better at the thing, not to master the thing, not to pretend like I know how to do the thing outright, but to get better at it. And this is a hard thing to do in the age of social media, right? This is a, we have to present our best foot at all times. I can't post mediocre work on the internet because then people will know that I'm mediocre or mediocre sometimes. This is the thing I touched on last week in the video about the cutting board, which not for nothing, I did bring with me as a gift, but I digress. Even with the cutting board video itself, I watched it back after editing and I thought, this is kind of a mediocre video. It's not a bad video, but it's not a great video. And there was a hesitation moment for me when I was unsure if I was gonna publish it. But of course I should publish it because I can't assume that every video I ever make is going to be the best video I ever made. That's not mathematically possible. That's not what best means. It's okay to be mediocre in your work so that you learn things and gather information and gather experience. And then that culminates into great work sometimes when all the stars align, but the stars don't align every time you make a thing. And that's especially true at the beginning. When you're learning anything new, you are obviously terrible at it. And that's, that's a wonderful place to be. That's a place where I seek to be often because there's so much potential for growth and learning and knowledge and experience gained. That's where interesting things happen. My first dovetails were terrible, guys. They were really, really bad. They were gappy like Michael Strahan. It was rough out there on the streets, guys. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to do a thing because I saw the thing that other people were capable of and I said, I want to be able to do that. And I knew it would take practice. And I did it and it was terrible. And I looked at it and I went, damn it, I'm gonna get that right one day. And I kept doing it until I was capable of doing that without fail. And the same is true for sculpture. The same is true for design. I was really bad at design when I went to school. I had no knowledge of design when I went to school to the point where my teacher, Alad, who's a brilliant furniture maker himself and a really wonderful and patient teacher, I think he lost patience with me only once in the design phase early on because it became very evident I had no idea what I was doing. And consequently, we ended up kind of reproducing or, or repurposing a design. 
and it evolved into a really nice piece, I think, with a huge assistance from him and from my co-teacher, Neil Erasmus. And looking back at my early work now, I can see the profound lack of understanding as to how design works and what makes a pleasant, beautiful object. But that's fine. That was a learning experience. It sucked in the moment. It was hard to learn that I wasn't any good at the thing. But it was a learning experience that helped me to understand that there had to be a different way for me to break down what I'm doing so that I could understand it and execute it better. And unless you put yourself in a position to fail, you never afford yourself the opportunity to have those moments. It's an interesting place to be. It's a terrifying place to be, and it's a wonderful place to be all simultaneously. And I don't think we give ourselves the space to do that as woodworkers enough, as professionals enough, as hobbyists enough, as Americans on social media presenting their best work to the public because we want to be seen as good and useful and validated. And so, yes, this video is a little bit meandering. Yes, it doesn't really have an overall point outside of the encouragement to tell you that it's okay to be bad at a thing. But I think it's okay for me to make a subpar video because it's honest, because it's the thing I think that I need to do to get better at making videos. And you're here, I'm doing my best. I think for the most part, my videos are pretty decent for the cinematography experience that I have, which is limited, but it's a learning experience that we're all going through together. So my point is simply, it's okay to be bad at things. And it's okay to show people that you're bad at things. It's okay to be a novice. That's a wonderful place to live for a moment in time because it's expansive. It has room to go somewhere. Once you've mastered a thing, that's the end of that road. There are interesting things to do with that collection of skills that you've accomplished, but you are then venturing off in a new direction to try a new thing, to, to take different aesthetic risks than you had before. Those are new paths to explore. So it's okay to suck. It's okay to be bad. It's okay to be mediocre. And it's okay to post about it. It's okay to be a middling YouTuber when you're just learning all of the different crafts that it takes to be a successful YouTuber. Do a thing because you feel like doing it. Do a thing because you think it's important. Do a thing because it makes you smile. Make a YouTube video because you enjoy talking to the camera about dumb philosophical concepts because you haven't taught in two years and you have no captive audience for those kinds of things anymore. All of those things are okay. Now, I'm gonna get back to my croissant and my coffee. I'm gonna go enjoy Austria for a few days. In the meantime, friends, I hope you all get in the shop. I hope you make a thing. I hope you do interesting things and take aesthetic risks. And, and, I'll catch y'all on the flip. Cheers.